Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be focusing on microbial spoilage of food. Many food groups that are prone to microbial spoilage. We'll be focusing in detail on spoilage of milk. Let's get into the video. First, let us know what is milk. Milk is white liquid food that is one of the most nutritious drinks. Milk is produced by mammary glands of the mammals. It is not only rich in high proteins but it also consists most of vitamins and minerals. Now, we'll be knowing about the factors that affect or influence the microorganisms present in the milk. Intrinsic factors: pH. Milk has pH about 6.7 to 6.9 which is optimal for growth of microorganisms. Redox potential: Milk has high oxygen content. Nutrient content: Milk is rich in carbohydrates, proteins and fat, also some vitamins and minerals. Water activity: Milk is about 87% of water and has a high water activity. Extrinsic factors depends on the storage environment. It includes relative humidity, temperature, gaseous atmosphere, chemical changes caused by microorganisms, pH and water activity. Now, we'll be discussing about the types of spoilage reaction that occurs in milk. Soaring, evidence of soaring of milk or so flavors and then coagulation of milk to form solid like curd. Many lactic acid bacteria, coliform and other bacteria ferment sugar of milk and produce acid. Gas production. Sugar fermenting organism produce gas together with acid. Main gas formers include coliform, clostridium, heterofermentative lactic, propionic bacillus, etc. Proteolysis. Proteolysis is facilitated by storage at low temperature by destruction of lactic acid bacteria or by distribution of already produced acid by molds and yeast. Ropiness or sliminess. Ropiness of milk occur both by bacterial and non-bacterial causes. Non-bacterial ropiness occur due to thickness of cream or due to film of casein and lactalbumin during cooling. Bacterial ropiness is caused by slimy capsular material of bacteria which usually develop at low storage temperature. Change in milk fat. Various bacteria, yeast and mold hydrolyzes fat of milk and causes rancidity. Species of protease, Pseudomonas fragi, Staphylococcus, Bacillus, Micrococcus, etc. are lipolytic. Alkali production. Pseudomonas fluorescence and alkali viscolactis produce alkali. Alkali production is due to the formation of ammonia from urea and formation of carbonate from organic acid. Flavor defect. Acid flavor. Acid flavor may be aromatic or sharp. The sharp flavor is caused by the production of acetic acid, formic acid, butyric acid, etc. by coliform and clostridium. Caramel or burnt flavor. It is caused by streptococcus lactis. Bitter flavor. It is caused by proteolytic organisms. Other flavors include earthy flavor by actinomycetes, fruity flavor by Pseudomonas fragi, soapiness by Pseudomonas saprolactic, etc. Color defect: growth of pigmented bacteria and other organisms give undesirable color. Some examples include blue milk. It is caused by Pseudomonas cinsianium. Yellow milk caused by Pseudomonas cinsantha and also by Flavobacterium. Red milk caused by Serratia marcescens and Micrococcus roseus. Brown milk caused by Pseudomonas putrefaciens and by enzymatic oxidation of tyrosine by Pseudomonas fluorescens. It is also important to know the microorganisms that are responsible for spoilage that takes place in milk. This slide provides the information about the microorganisms responsible for spoilage. So, these are the important microorganisms that are involved in the spoilage of the milk. So next, we will be moving into the subtopic microbial examination of milk. Why is microbial examination important for milk? Milk and dairy products provide a favorable environment for large range of bacteria, yeast and mold. Therefore, it is important to screen them and eliminate them to prevent spoilage of milk.
stand plate count or viable plate count. This test examines the viable count of bacteria present in the milk. It gives a rough and direct assessment of viable number of bacteria and very simple method to carry out. Coliform count This test examines the presence of coliform bacteria which can cause fermentation of milk by production of acid and gas. MBRT Methylene Blue Reductase Test It is a rapid method to determine the microbial load. Using this test, we can identify the quality of milk depending upon the color retaining property. Speed of the reduction of methylene blue color is directly proportional to the volume of bacteria present in the milk sample. Turbidity Test This test checks the sterilization process of milk, whether the milk is boiled correctly or not to the temperature prescribed for the sterilization process. Phosphatase Test this test check the pasteurization process to verify whether milk is pasteurized or not. Phosphatase is an enzyme present in milk. This enzyme becomes inactivated if pasteurization is performed properly. These are the microbial examination in which milk undergoes a series of tests to identify and screen microorganisms that are responsible for spoilage of milk. So we are at the end of this video. Hope you guys found this video informative and fed some information regarding the spoilage of milk. Thank you.